hello, hi, welcome back, or welcome to my channel. My name is Tori, and today I have my Pan That palette for 2019. So I'm panning three palettes, and let's just jump right into it. The first one is the Smashbox. Oh, by the way, I kind of have remains of swatches on my arm. It's fine. Um, <laughs> I have the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. The goal for last month was to try to finish up one shimmer. As you can tell, that did not happen. Um, I just haven't reached for it. I did really good the last couple of months with it and then kinda gave up on it for a little bit and that's fine for now. I just gotta start picking it up again. So not bad, but not good. So I think my goal is gonna remain the same for next month, one shimmer I would like to be gone. Next, we have the Tartlet Tease Little Palette. The goal was to either finish up Wink or use half of Crush. So this is what it currently looks like. I finally used up Wink. Um, so excited, and spoiler alert, obviously for my A to Z project, but I'm so happy it's done. And then I did expand the pan on Crush, definitely not halfway, but it's it's getting there. And then I expanded the pan just a little bit in First Kiss. Now, my goal for next month, I need to start incorporating one of these more. I've been trying to, but I really need to start if I want to somehow finish this by the end of the year. So I think that finishing up half of Crush is going to remain as a goal because it's still doable, but I am working on a lot of shimmers. So I think that's an easier goal that I might be able to hit. I'm trying to think. And I want to use BFF or, what are you, Heartbreaker 15 times. I was going to say 10, but we're going to put it to 15. Even if that's combined uses 15, I'm fine with that, but they just need use like asap so that's fine um first kiss i'm not gonna set a goal on no particular reason i just don't want to set a goal for it right now obviously i would like to expand the pan a little bit but i don't want to make a goal yet with it and now on to the big boy i'm gonna have to keep this one open and you'll see why but this big palette that I'm focusing on this year is the Tarte Tardis Pro. So, I really don't know how I'm going to show you this because one of the shades is literally just all crushed up. So, give me a second. So now, I'm dumping out the shade that's crushed up into this. I've done this before with powders, but now we're doing it with eyeshadow because it's making a mess. So, this is what the palette looks like, but... If you remember my goals, don't get too excited because the rest of Innocent is now in here. So, the goals for last month was to expand two pans, hit one new pan, and possibly have Innocent gone. So, Innocent's not gone, but very close to gone. So, I'm keeping that goal. I'm making it a finalized goal. Next month, Innocent has to be gone. No ifs, ands, or buts about it because... That's literally nothing. That's like doing two looks with it in your crease. Like nothing. So I can do that. That's very doable. So this is what the palette currently looks like. I kind of really had fun expanding pans. Um, so I expanded pan in new filter. Um, whimsy I used a couple times, but definitely not enough to like expand it or give it that qualification. Bold was expanded a lot. I've been trying to find new ways to use that and try to reach for it like about every other day. Innis, not in Indie hit pan. So that was the first one I hit pan in. Today, the day I'm filming, I hit pan in Edgy, which is a big deal because this shade is also in another project. So obviously this look today is very grungy, muddy mess. Um, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere with this look. <laughs> but... What I did was edgy is my crease and my under my edgy is my crease and my lower lash line along with indie I used to try to blend it out 
and then trendy that was in this one because these are both trendy but trendy had an accident so I depotted a little bit into here and then the trendy is all over my lids but then I did use um cube from the ABH subculture palette which is a white duochrome pink as my inner corner which doesn't look that blinding on camera but it does in real life and then on top as kind of like the center point of my lid just like a little bit cause I don't wear false lashes and I did not want to put eyeliner or new mascara on so a little bit dead looking but it's okay and then I think I expanded the pan just a little bit in profesh but not really that much and then obviously since trendy was in two this has been expanded so mink mod and fierce all still don't have pan but that makes me a lot happier so for next month innocent gone no doubt about it trendy number two over here i also want gone because if i use it like two more times it's going to be gone anyway same boat as innocent trying to think I want to be realistic because next month school starts I want bold halfway used up and indie expand being expanded um, I'm not going to set a goal for edgy because I know I'm going to use it so I'm not I don't feel like I need to set a goal <sighs> yeah I think that's about it for the goals so trendy Number two needs to be gone. Innocent needs to be gone. Bold needs to be used halfway. And indie needs to be expanded. I think that's a good start. I find it so funny that I just have like one full row still. Everything else is like a puzzle. So that's the goals for that one. And then for Tarte Tees, I have half of Crush and 15 uses out of BFF or Heartbreaker, vice versa. Either way that goes. And while Smashbox, of course, is to finish up a shimmer, um, I think so far, obviously so far, I'm, this is what, the eighth update? I'm doing well. I kind of wish I was a little bit farther along, but considering all the eyeshadows I try to focus on, I think I'm doing just fine. Um, but I definitely want two of these palettes out by the end of the year. I'm kind of okay with the fact if this palette just ends up having these two left in here but I would like everything else gone so yeah we're gonna have to see how it's gonna go let me know how your pan that palette is doing down below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and all that jazz if you enjoyed and peace out girl scout